Mira un conecte de Create a simple JavaScript node application. I'll, I'll try and put up what what will go into a into a node application. What's my machine? I have learned that this machine is I don't know 
Oh, please, okay. Can you maybe take this off the step here? Right. Maybe do it How do you have? No, no, not that. Is it better? I'm using supply. <laughs> ah. If you Google know what what happens, I will say it. Uh, let me see if I can connect. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you know JavaScript is actually at line side scripting, right? So Node is actually the server side for, for JavaScript, the single threaded application server. So, uh, okay. I'm just going to start my things here so long. So all we want to do is the following, basically. We will have a, a browser here, we'll have another browser there, then we'll have a, a node here. Uh, with, <coughs> with static pages that it will actually render. So this can be actually HTML. And these guys here can have something called SOAP.js and 
with SOCJS, what will happen is that these guys will make a little socket connection to, to the node itself. And here we are going to have, on top of our node, we'll have uh, Redis pops up. Uh, okay. So when we talk about real-time communication between browsers, is that the browser itself will make web socket connections, for instance, right? to some chat server. So although you have a page, the page itself will have, through its uh, JavaScript <coughs> code, the ability to, to, to set up connections. Okay. Now, a web socket connection is an upgrade of HTTP. So even though you make an HTTP to get the static page, this thing itself will make another HTTP upgrade request to, to tell the server that I'd like to upgrade my HTTP connection to socket, web socket. If the server supports WebSocket, then it will return one one back to tell it that okay, we have upgraded the session. Now you are you are choking WebSocket. So instead of HTTP, then you'll have WS. Okay, so <coughs> something like that. Okay. Now when, when we, we talked at uh, CSR a while back, I was talking about how, how you could define the sub-protocol that you then use. So once you've set up your web socket, you will need to define some sort of a protocol. Right? Like what, what will a message look like? Yeah. Which field will have the name of the sender? Which field will have the body of the content? Okay, that, that, that's what, that's what sub-protocol is. So the actual transport protocol is WebSocket, but below WebSocket, the application level protocol will be whatever subprotocol. Okay. We we are going to use well the example that I will be sharing with you is JSON over WebSocket. What that means in English is that you are sending JSON strings through your WebSocket connection. That's it. So if if you have a fancy uh, API. For instance, it could wrap do, those uh, those details and hide them. Like like Bolly, for instance. Bolly is JSON over HTTP, but it hides it. Uh, I want to open my This is where something like no J, no plus plus with it, no plus 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 with it coming handy. Ah, but these are the things. All oh, these are the things. All these are the things. Don't even worry about this. Ah, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. What do you do when you create this container in Node? Yeah. You create a server by calling HTTP uh, the create server. But that HTTP module needs to be loaded. But you, you'll see once you get used to, to, to working on Node, uh, you always load the, the stuff you need. And then to run, to run your Node script, <coughs> So if you are in the working directory and you want to video big chat there, you can say no. Okay. So if you had if you had in your video chat if, for instance, you had the uh, code in there to create a server, then that's where it will show. Okay. 
so it will show that. Okay. So, um, You remember uh, what we what we sh what Tammy showed to us where you could have those kind of rules there as your URL attendance. Okay. <clears throat> you will have it here, for instance, that everything forward slash chat will come to, to this and it has to be a WhatsApp account. Okay. So when you create a, your WhatsApp account, that URL here must have slash chat. Because you have a handle for that. Okay. Or whatever you, you call your, your, your virtual application. That is actually a module which you need to require, and if it's not installed on your node, so what you can do? Uh, I can't see. That's how you say, you know, this application requires the following module. Now, if you don't have this module installed, then it will tell you that you know could not find a module. Uh, and then you install it using the package manager. NPM, NPM install module. Okay. Uh, you need Express because your node one is is one example of the HTTP container that you can find on node. So you can eat. Find that module because I don't have that module. Well, it's a, a imaginary module for me. So, if that happened, for instance, then, then I could just say, okay, because we don't have that module, maybe it has NPM story. And it will try to find it from the repository. Uh, the if I'm connected and everything's fine, it will try, you see, no it was it will do. it will try to make a get request to download that module, it will probably say, yeah, you see. It's not there. Okay. Uh, which module can I install which I don't have? No, maybe not. Ah, we, we need to end it. Did you get that? I'm not sure if I can buy two of them if I should. Uh, yes, it's okay. Probably need super. So if maybe you run through uh, an example online and it uses a certain module and you don't have that module, you just say npm install the module name. Uh, the module name will be what they will have in their required clause. So here all I need is HTTP Express. I think I also need this to be okay.
Yeah, you see that that, that is installed, and because it's slow bar, you can have to be accessible to all the users, and that's why I needed to access this. I had to add you to system. Uh, okay, now if I if I load the flow programs, Ah, that's my satellite. So cheese. So you, this is a, this is a typical JavaScript application now. Okay, so. So you can do all sorts of things. No problem. No problem. That's time in milliseconds. That's all. Now, let's see if we can run. Let's see if we can now create the server. So you create a server by just saying HTTP you create server. Okay, so that, that, that's simple. Then you can add a list now. Uh, why do I have an upgrade? Because that's, that's the first thing that will happen when I get an HTTP call through that HTTP server. Okay. Remember, I, I said it's, a, it's an upgrade of HTTP. And that's why I need an HTTP server here. Why? Because the first call is HTTP. Okay? That's why I have to create an HTTP server. And I then have to listen for the following. For an upgrade, also for, for requests. Okay? For the chat server now, I can actually put in the handler that will look for that prefix. So it's the same as up to get uh, slash chat, then you specify the function that should handle the call to that. Yeah? So and the chat server is already embedded inside the chat. Uh, no, no, no. So if you. Well, so if you look at my chat server is a soft JS kind of kind of thing. Okay, remember I said I'm going to use uh, soft JS. Okay, so that that's my chat server. So that would be my protocol. It requires SoftJS, so you'll have to say NP install SoftJS. If you want to be able to use it uh, across, just say minus G for global, then it will be accessible globally. Okay. So uh, my leader, what, what is happening here? I'm just creating. I'm just creating a a socket socket web socket server there. That's all I did. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, these are just options, and you can see it's just a name value pair that it's a web socket, and that the SoftJS URL that would be the URL. So, 
for instance, that could actually go into where where you got the actual subjects. You'd only do that if you have your own subjects which you treat the bit. So you don't want to download the 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 subjects every time. Maybe you change a few things. So you want this to load your own to to run your own version of subjects. And if you if you look at that, you'll see that we'll actually we'll actually download that script from our own container that is running locally on that. Uh, that's it. So these are my my sock. Uh, here he is You can't see that. There, Mr. Sheet, the website server by passing those of those uh, options. So if I if I say Shell server the install handler, and then I pass it a prefix. It means if there's a there's an incoming web web socket call to that prefix, the code that I specified as a handler will be executed. Okay. Uh, I need to require soft JS. So let let me show you how this. So JS is not defined. So I need to say, what do I need to say? I need to now say, but sock JS is equal to require. If I had downloaded the 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 module that I, I actually need, I'll just say the the path to to the JavaScript. But I I did not. I have the actual module here. So JS, I think the so JS. So that 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 much works. Thank you. Let me see. JSON if I hear my name. Unlike what we had to delete my stuff. I hope this will, will not compare. Yeah, it just shows that oh, so create. So far so good. I mean this is nothing, it's just setting up the environment. Now I'm going to have to create I'm going to have to now install on on my server without that upgrade thing it will be impossible to upgrade incoming connections to WebSocket because I have no way of handling or responding to the the request and the guy, the guy sending the request might think that maybe I don't support what Okay, so you you could send a two hundred there, which is just an okay, or you could you could send a protocol switching, which is I think the two one. Right? Then the guy would know that okay, you you have upgraded the connection. Okay. So. Uh, 
maybe we just get that. Yeah. And I think that's it. If this thing likes it, it should say bound to something. Oh no, you don't say it's not the bound to this. Why did I call it? Oh no, I need to say 7 is equal to. Is it express or is it P? Some of this, uh, this is what I wanted to show you that that module. So maybe install it if you have your own app and run. Just say NMP install Redis. That that's what does the app sub. Uh, just 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 so you don't do it by hand. But if, if you look at SoftJS API, you will see that all you do you, you handle the on data, the on data callback, and you decide what to do with it. Uh, so. In, instead of us having to do message routing by hand, uh, I use the Redis PubSub. So PubSub, you create a channel, and a person subscribes to channel, and you publish messages to channel, and Redis has a way of delivering those messages to all the subscribers of, of that channel. Okay. So you don't have to look through list of people you are chatting to and send them on. Okay, Redis will do that. So if, if, you, if you are in a chat session, with bodies here. So you have about three people you are chatting. Ideally, you'll have four, then you look, you say, for this participant, I don't send or something. Okay, so you get the, the handle to the socket for that connection, then you send it. For that connection, you send it. For that connection, you send it. The redis will do that. So all you do, when these people connect, you create a channel saying, uh, Session ends. Okay. Then you publish to session ends. The Redis will find all the the subscribe subscribers to that channel that will be delivered. I'll show you the code. It's a it's a it's a longish code, but uh, it's not it's not really hard to. Okay. Where, Just say that we can find it there. It's got a handler that. So maybe you can change that to. This one is just so you, you use the whatever uh, host that you have. So that from, from the same network, you could actually put in the IP address. It doesn't matter. You see where it's found. Yeah. So if I were to if I go to so what what might happen is that if your HTTP server is not running, <coughs> ah, everything that depends on, on on that script won't work because you don't have that script, so you can't instantiate. So, meaning the 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 create the softjs dot create will 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 raise an chat error in in JavaScript, which is an error. Okay. Uh, Ah, it's showing on the other screen. 
So the yeah, I'm trying to move this. So that's what happens if I need a call to that because the HTTP is listening to that. And because this is HTTP, if you look at if you look at the call, that's what you call. Okay. It's not my experience, yes. It's N. I can't chase anybody this one, can I? You can write a quick one socket. Do I have a do I have a script that has a so I can show you the actual option? This one. That thing is not it's not the Let's look at the uh, the, the circuit, the circuit JS. Yes. That's just a signature. 
So when there are two things that can happen in, on this line that you need to know. You can have, when you make the first call, you have some connection. It is here where you can create your state, okay, state object. Then the, the second protocol called that will be data. And then the other one should be close or something. Yeah. So this is when either because of connection errors or something, your 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 peer, your node peer closes the connection. Of course, what you want to do there is to clear, if you, you maintain state, you will clear it there. Uh, I think what I did here was to remove stuff from the array. MCBC. Now, because we have that script, we can create a we can create listeners for for all three. Okay. So uh, the on connection has the actual connection. Uh, on on data has the actual payload. Uh, well, I don't close my team in which connection I was closing, but we may have to do some of that in one day. Because it does not really give you much to work with. Okay. That's all you do here. So, here if you say. That's all, that's all you need. So this is actually maybe the things and stuff, but that, that's the structure. So it's on event, and then you're on event end. That, that's all you do. That's all you do there. Okay. If you now look at, if you look at, if you look at the on data one, which is the most interesting one for for for, for support for design at least. Because because you will have defined the subroutine, that message will have to conform to whatever protocol. Okay. We knew that we are doing WebSocket with JSON over WebSocket, so that's why incoming message we pass it as a JSON. If it fails, it means there are protocol errors. It's, it's not so much the application can do. Okay, so the event would be data, and when when there is an incoming data, meaning the the remote PA is sending something through, then this is a method that should be called, and the, the incoming data. There's your function body, 
uh, whatever you want to do. So the first thing you want to do, because you want to do something like data uh, payload job. The sender. But you can't do that on a string, right? You can only do it on a JSON object. That's why you want to pass it first to a JSON. Okay? So you say Then you can now look at you can look at the you can look at the payload as a JSON document, and you can even you can actually start setting things there. Okay. So let's say maybe you want to pass it to some other processor there. And you want to tell it at what time it arrived on the server. So you take the object, and if you do that, for instance, it will add. So if you if you had if you had the original if you had the original payload coming in as something like that, send uh, some value message. Some value again. Your processor, after you've done that, should get something like you have a sender and its value, you have a message and its value, but it will have arrival and whatever value. Is it is it making some sense so far? So th this this is just pure socket programming. It's, it's just that you do it on, on web browser and, and you do it using well. In my case, I'm using Java JavaScript, but it does not have to be JavaScript. La last one you had is that I showed you my C sharp client. Okay, so I might just as well have a Java server. So what what, what I showed you my uh, the, the, my Mixit code, when there's a message coming from Mixit, it will invoke this code with that being that Mixit message that I converted to, to, to JSON. Okay. And, and then in here I'll process it. I'll look at the sender value, the message value. Now, because you don't want to do routing by hand, it, it, it is advisable that the payload itself has routing info about it. So because I was, I was using uh, what you call this, <coughs> Redis, the message had to bear the session ID. And the session ID you, is what I use as a channel ID. Okay? So if I see a message that, that forms part of a session, then I know I need to publish it on the read this channel by that name. Okay. So I will do I'm sure I have a simple publish here.
So that's all I do. So Publisher, which is actually my Redis client instance, I specify the ID to which I want to publish. So what I'll do, I'll say, let's say we have on, on data with my function that takes the actual data. Okay? So I can say, uh, maybe let me what this is. So my, my code would look something like function data. Then I can have the past version of that data, which is actually my JSON. Then I could say my publisher publish uh, past data some session ID. Okay. Well, that's that's the idea I'm publishing and whatever I want to publish. I'll just put to to that method. Okay, so it's the signature is very simple. The channel you are publishing to and what you are publishing. So I'm publishing in on that example we are publishing a, a, a well string file JSON object and that's a JSON object. Okay. Now because this thing works on 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 PubSub, meaning you, you you subscribe, then you get published messages like that. I have to subscribe to the session ID, and you you see, I also get it the same way that I get it from this one. So ideally, the way it would work, you will make a call to the server. The server will generate some session ID, random number. What we do there uh, is that we are using Mongo. So this ID, the ID that you get to assign to that value is the Mongo underscore ID then of the new entry. Okay. So that's it. So if you get my So if you if you if you request a session, right? If you request a session, then it's then that we generate a session number. So you being connected does not mean you have a session. The reason why I'm sure I explained this before, but the reason why we had to do that was that from from the same connection, I want to be able to have many logical pipes that I can send messages to. Instead of having another connection for a session, another connection for a session, another con connection for a session, I might run out of course. Okay. That explains why I don't do it in on connection, I do it on data. Okay. So you can use the same connection, but the payload that you send me would be a request for a session. That, that's all. That's all you have to do. That's it. That's it. Really. Uh, so when when you when you have this, all you need now is a client that can connect to. Your, to your socket set. So I'm not sure if I have a if I have an example here. I want to get the page to it. 
it should be is it one of your templates now? So this is This I has I've seen before, so <coughs> maybe not. But this is using Mozilla to get a chance. That, that's the example that I have on, on the side. Uh, but ideally, you would you will include your software client like that. Okay, so uh, let me. Let me That's how you do. So, um, So what, what you need to do So what you want to do if you can is to you saw what we have here, right? Huh? We have so this will be this will be my IP address or local host and this will be keep culture chat thing that I put okay. That's all you do. So what the, the implications are that if if I were to do this right, on on the page, that page will have to be served by my by my HTTP server as it's that too far. The the HTML page that has this code. To show you what I mean. Look the most moves on this.
Okay, so all, all, all we need, all we need is a page with a box and a button which we, we have the uh, only key. Right? The only part that changes is to sort J client part. All this. Yeah, that's the kind of mistake. 